on my plans video. This is where I'm going to talk you through all the plans that I have for the upcoming month. It is July, which means it's hot and it's humid here. Uh, so sewing kind of becomes a little bit tricky because I like to sew for things that I can make and wear right away. But I also know that I'm just pretty much uncomfortable 100% of the time when I'm not in the apartment. So the inspiration and the creativity kind of starts lacking until the temperatures and the humidity become a little bit more bearable. Like we're just not spending a lot of time outside at all. Um, but I do want to keep the momentum going and keep making stuff as always. So I do have a few plans. Um, the first one, and this is something that I've been working on for a couple of months now, and it is a mashup. I haven't done a mashup probably since we did the mashup challenge on Instagram, but this is a mashup of the Lizette Butterick 6661, the bodice of this. I just absolutely love that bodice, and I've been a little bit hesitant to do strappy bodices like this um, because it's so hard to fit your back and for whatever reason the angles of those straps are never right and they always kind of gape in weird places but now that I have my ditto form which is like an exact replica of my body uh, I think I'll be able to get those straps placed better um, so that they lay ultimately flat now if I had a second pair of hands around here that was able to help me pin that'd be no big deal but it's just me um and I <laughs> I don't I would never bother Dan with hey can you get this right he would spend like 30 seconds yeah 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 yeah. it's good it's good and move on I know you know what I'm talking about so having a ditto form acts as my second set of hands and I'm able to kind of work on the straps a little bit better but I'm pairing that with the skirt of Butterick 6351 or no I'm sorry the the pants of 6351 so I want to make a little jumpsuit that's these two things combined how cute is that going to be and I found this tablecloth at Goodwill and just knew it needed to be a really special outfit so it is this you can see that it is like a woven with a little bit of sparkle mixed in. It's cream colored with gold thread throughout. It is a circle. The, the tablecloth is a round tablecloth. So that's going to present a few issues. But I think that I'm going to be able to have enough fabric. I have two of them, two tablecloths, in order to... Um, get uh, the bodice out of one and the shorts out of another and have a really cute like going out romper um something that i can wear like on date nights i love wearing rompers and short dolls and stuff like that but i just don't feel like they are fancy enough they feel very very casual to me so i'm hoping that if i give it like a strappy back and a really really cute fun you know kind of dressy sparkly fabric that it'll be a really cute like dressed up going out romper either for date night or I um am signed up signed up I bought season tickets to the all the um uh Broadway shows that are coming through Charlotte this next 20 21 22 season so I'm gonna need like, you know, sort of cute clothes, but that clothes you wanna sit around in for a couple of hours. And I think this would be perfect for that. So I think I have all the pattern pieces cut out um, and I'm ready to cut into my fabric and get sewing on that. So hopefully I can finish that this month. We also have Sew Together 21. Now for this month, I decided to go out of the box a little bit and do a hat. Hats are so on trend right now like bucket hats are everywhere it's kind of like you know that that version of the 90s you know re um re-envisioned and it's spitting out bucket hats so everybody is wearing bucket hats right now so i gave uh my instagram followers four different hats to choose from they ended up choosing this one from hot patterns it's totally free on fabric.com so it's like a combination of a sun hat bucket hat but also a little bit adjustable so i'm thinking of making it out of something really really fun i mean when am i going to really wear this hat like 
when I'm out of the pool or doing something very, very casual, maybe even a little bit of gardening, like on my patio, if the sun is, you know, if it's that time of the day where the sun is coming down, it's going to be a pretty low key situation. So I have this curtain that I got from Goodwill, another great Goodwill find. I've thought about making this into a dress. Certainly I have enough fabric to do that as well as the hat because the hat does not take that much fabric, but the hat does have that band. So what I might do is make the hat out of this like, I don't know, it's like a mint slash sky blue denim and then do this in the band. So they would go together like that. Um, I do have quite a bit of home deck fabric, quite a bit of cotton canvas. Um, Joanne has some really, really, really great cotton canvases if you are looking for um, something to make your hat from. Really cute gardening themed ones I've seen. They even have some sewing themed ones and then just regular plain ones. And so I've got a bunch of those from doing my um, tote bag class for uh, skill pop and I made some Cricut projects with them, so on and so forth. So I do have other options. I'm not totally, totally like sold on this. I might go shopping in my stash, but as you know, Sew Together 21 for me, even when it was so my style, I was always shopping from the stash first. Well, just always. So it's a, it's a challenge on top of a challenge for me to sew from the stash for this particular monthly challenge. So I like this, um, but if I decide I want something that I can, is a little bit more wearable that I might be able to wear to Target, um, which is just like my baseline for anything like, anything like acceptable <laughs> by society, this might be a little bit funky to be wearing to Target, but I might be able to find something a little bit more easy and simple. Um, and I would use that. I got a ton of interfacing from Thermoweb. So when I go to make the hat, I'm going to talk to you guys. I'll make a separate video on the interfacing and kind of talk you through the different types and what you use them for and how they're going to help this hat really take shape. Get it? Um, so I'll talk to you guys about that more. But I also, I mentioned, I don't know, recently, was it my makes video that I've been using vintage sheets from Goodwill to muslin shorts. So when I was muslining these, I made a little pair of pajama shorts out of a vintage cotton, um, just to kind of test the fit, make sure the crotch and all that was okay and that they were comfortable and not riding up and just, you know, like a muslin. So with the extra fabric, I decided I was gonna make a little top set to go with it. So I'd have like a whole pajama set. So I think that I was like really, this was a couple weeks ago and I cannot remember, but I think I really wanted like a, a half placket situation. So I shopped the pattern stash and came up with Butterick 5826. This is a pretty old pattern from 2012, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic stuff here. We've got long sleeve, half placket, you know, pretty long top. I think those were the things I was kind of looking for out of my pajama top. I mean, it kind of looks pajama toppy, right? Even in the back. So I made this version, I think. I didn't do the, the uh, gathers at the shoulder. So I think I have something like this version without the tab. And I was able to use like the top portion of the sheet. Oh my gosh. So this is the sheet. This is like that top hem of the sheet and it had this little baby trim in it already. So I made that part of the sleeve. How stinking cute is that gonna be? I remember I did some other fussy cutting for it as well. I'm sure I'll be reminded of that as I start putting it together. But it's just such, such a sweet little fabric already with the purples and lilacs and the flowers. And then that little eyelet trim, it just got me. It, there was no chance I was leaving that at Goodwill. So I'm glad that I'm able to use it in a way that feels appropriate. I don't know about making this into a garment that I would wear out. It's a little young, but I think for pajamas, it's gonna be so, so, so cute. So you gotta imagine like matching shorts and then kind of like a elbow length sleeve out of this, right? So cute, I'm so excited about that one. Um, I also, in the last sale, two sales ago, 
I got Simplicity 9285. It's a Gertie pattern. I, I just don't have any like sleepwear, loungewear that is meant for super, super hot temperatures. Like it, it's just really hot here. <laughs> um, so I thought that if I could make something like this, I could wear it on the house, sleep in it, you know, and be quite comfortable. Plus I have a ton of knit fabrics that are just too lightweight to do much of anything with. Um, this is the one that I have chosen for that. So you can see it's rayon, it's nice, it's lightweight, it's drapey, all that is really wonderful. But I just wouldn't want to make that into a top. It's just too clingy, too, I don't know. It just, I don't think it would be very comfortable as a top. So turning it into like a little sleep set is great. The only issue I'm having is finding this, what do they call it? Stretch lace trim. So I need five and a half yards of it, one and a half inch wide stretch lace trim. Now that's not hard to find in and of itself, but I don't know what color I should get with this. Should I do like a navy and pink? That would be cute. Orange and pink, very summery. So I'm just trying to decide what I want and then I have to go find it probably on Amazon. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to find some on Etsy instead because um, that just feels a little bit more not legit. It's all legit, I guess. But Etsy feels like somebody purposefully sourced it to sell it to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just romanticizing Etsy a little bit. Um, but I just need to pick a color and then get that stretch trim so that I can create all of this. I did uh, also cut out the panty. I have no idea how that's going to turn out. I've literally never sewn a pair of underwear in my life. But I also know that I kind of struggle finding underwear that's super, super comfortable in the stores for the same reason that I have trouble finding pants that are comfortable. I mean, underwear is stretchy, so that gives it a little bit more forgiving than say jeans would. But I, I have like underwear that gapes in the back. I mean, that's <laughs> just how it is. I have some that rides up, some that rides down. It's just like nothing ever works. So if I can figure out how to make my own underwear that fits and is super comfortable, why not, right? I don't know if this little lacy pair is going to be it, but it's at least a fun little thing to try out. Um, so those are my plans for July. Um, I'm super excited about them. If you can't tell, they are a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. Like for example, I don't have a single dress, um, but that's okay because what I'm sewing is changing a little bit. I'm spending a lot more time at home as much of you are. So I'm finding myself wanting to sew things to wear at home. And then I'm also trying to fill out my wardrobe a little bit. Once I sort of purge everything during May for the, what did I call it? The epic me made try on extravaganza. I did it on Instagram and let people vote on what I should keep and what I should toss. But then of course did what I wanted. <laughs> um, I ended up getting rid of a lot of clothes during that period and found out, you know, where the holes in my wardrobe are. And so this kind of serves to fill that a little bit. So I'm pretty excited about them. They're fun. They're different. Um, and we will see how they come together. But I'd like to know from you guys what you plan on sewing in July. I know there's a holiday weekend that we just had. There's summer vacations. There's summer school for some of you. Um, so time is a little bit different during the summer, um, free time anyways. So maybe you're not sewing at all, which makes me so sad. Um, but let me know if you do have any plans, if you do have anything that you want to work on this month, um, leave that in the comment section below. Otherwise, that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.